Gentlemen, and welcome back to LGD Forever Young versus Digital Chaos. I'm Odie Pixel. I'm here with Blitz. And uh, of course, LFY taking game one pretty comfortably as well. 26 minute victory. Uh, ended up being, being pretty much a, a, a stomp from the, remember the 10 minute or so mark on was as DC were unable to slow down LFY. Let's see what they do this game. Well, are we. Are we going to see LFY just go for the same hold, or is this a, time that, a team that likes to mix it up a bit? They do not like to mix it up a bit. They They're going like to do the same stuff. stuff. They'll try and do the same stuff. Owen. They Owen. will do the same stuff. Bullets. 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 It sounds like you're saying bullets. Bullets. It does. That would have been a cooler name for you. What? Bullets, bullets. Dota? <laughs> the proper NA name. <laughs> bullets. Bullets. <laughs> hey, everybody, I'm Bullets, eh? That isn't. Why would my voice change if my username changed? Don't I don't know. <laughs> uh, here we go. They told it. They like the push, and they'll they'll get a push. A shadow shaman. First pick. Uh, one of those heroes. I feel like I haven't actually seen being banned as picked as much as it was on day one. At least the games I've followed. But uh, definitely a top tier support. Gets a lot done. Safe early pick to start your draft with. DC. See how they react. I wouldn't be surprised if they themselves do switch it up. And they yeah. will. There's the puck. The Abed puck. Do they take Sand King again is the I question. I was going to say, that's what these guys... They were doing what puck Sand King like a yeah. lot, weren't they? Something interesting, by the way. They mirror their bands from last game. And more importantly, that we should bring up, LFY no longer has anything to play for. This is true. As you were saying to me now, it, indeed it, in the stats, LFY, a guaranteed top spot. No one can beat him. By but, virtue of not losing a game. Yes. These guys are... They're incredible. Absolutely insane in the groups. Yeah. They don't need to win anymore, so... Here's the interesting part for me. If you're an LFI, let's say you're playing for TI and you're thinking to yourself, guys, we don't have to play for anything, but it does make the competitive spirit a little bit weird, and we could influence the groups. Do you still just try your hardest? Or do you maybe try something a bit wonky so that you can test what's good? So do what's better for the for the competitiveness or do you do what's better for your team? I mean, I th I, you'd think with just kind of the 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 composure of the, these these kind of Chinese teams and these this, this will to win, I, I can't see LFY being a team that's going to mess around. You know what I mean? This is a team that... They play Dota to win the games. Hmm. Even when, as you say, nothing technically is on the line. Oh, they do take the Sand King. They do. I stick the same same opener that they've done for a while. When they can get it, Puck Sand King. And then for maybe we'll start to see now if they're going to try something a little different. I mean, as you say, you know, trying something a little, uh, a little different is not necessarily not trying to win. As you say, could benefit them in the long haul. Just That's what I mean. Yeah. Maybe you find something out about a hero that you wanted to test, but you were kind of unwilling to before this point. Maybe we'll finally get that Wraith King game. Get him in there. Ooh, they take the Pugna. Uh, these guys aren't playing to mess around. Pugna, they Shadow Shaman. They are playing to push lanes and win the game. No messing around from LFY. Despite their very comfortable spot. Ten seconds remaining. So we'll see what the follow-up bans are from DC. We can assume that this is a core Pugna, which is Pretty much all the rage so far at this tournament. Pugna is such a cool hero. Look at him. Fire is just I'm, like... No, he's not cool. What do you mean he's not cool? He's amazing. He's like the opposite of cool. What? Look, he's just like... It's a little annoying green person. What do you mean? He just walks around. Yeah. Doesn't have any emotion. Just throws out big green balls at people. Oh, and not caring and not having emotion is like, the definition of being cool. Oh, I guess it is in 2017. Yeah, not yeah. caring is cool. Not caring is cool. And this is, yeah. The, not liking Pugna things. Is the epitome of not yeah. caring. Not liking things. Yeah. Who cares? Trying hard and passion is stupid. Pugna, though. For Pugna, everything is cringeworthy. He, he just walks funny as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because he doesn't care. He does. He has this sort of swag to him. Yeah. Owen. Oh, oh, this man. Does Pugna have any sets? He's got... The very he's got the most famous son in Dota. Oh, <laughs> how could I forget? I, you do, would only be so blessed. Do any players have the golden BZZ set? I don't think so. That's a shame. I mean, they're obviously doing something wrong with their winnings if they haven't invested in that. If they're not investing this in the golden time BZZ when Pugna set. Pugna stock is so high. This is the highest that you might see Pugna in quite some time. 
I, th I think in the history of Dota, Pugna's never been where he has at the moment. Has there the ever been a Pugna phase? Dota. Back in the days, was there ever a Pugna period? Not really. Nah. There are a few teams that have tried to make him work as like a as a pocket pick, but if, as far as I can remember, this is probably the his heyday. Because he's kind of a weird, lumpy hero. It's the only way I can yeah. put it. He's lumpy. Have we not seen any teams do the Cottle Pugna? Like that, I remember when it actually some teams did used to cheese it in the past, and you know you get it out for like the double blast to to quick siege. Yeah, it can be pretty obnoxious. It's obnoxious, but it's not game breaking. Ah, okay. Fair enough. Otherwise, everyone would do it. Dude, what? Why are we not seeing some morphling ag strats with Pugna? Double the blast capability. Like wait, I'm TI main stage. So you're gonna farm <laughs> let me just let me just get this straight. So you're gonna play a farming morph <laughs> only to rush a forty two hundred gold item yes. that turns you into Pugna. Yes, because then you end the game. You don't need to have these so fancy Lincolns and E blades. Forty two hundred gold yes. just to get another Pugna on the field. To win the game. So you're gonna imagine turn a carry having, into a ima imagine playing a game where there's a Pugna in your mid lane and a Pugna in your off, like just pushing. Oh, you know things. what? I didn't think about it, but you could get double ward, double decrep down. Exactly. You could. Do and you, oh, and you are. You get the talents, of course, as well when you make that illusion. I'm pretty sure. So you get that extra ward. So damage. you just like triple blast. Triple blast. Oh, and you're a genius. Morphling Pugna. That is the only way if, that I can. If the team it. does it, I'm taking ten percent of that. Ten percent. That's a lot. That's more than most coaches take. Yeah, but I'm more than a coach blitz. You're more. <laughs> <laughs> You definitely are oh. more than me. Omni Knight. I th that, this is a hero I'm saying. I swear this is must have just been picked like once, maybe. I know it has been picked, but... Has it? Uh, definitely. Oh, actually, no, wait. I'm not that sure, actually. Is this another new hero? Can you check it out on the old Dota buff, Will? Okay. That's is my it, job. I think it could be a new hero, now that you say that. I think you're right. Uh, Maybe they just want to pick all the new heroes. Here we go. Heroes. <laughs> We'll go by this week. Is it a new era? No. No, it's not. Okay. It got picked one time, one time. today, I think. Okay. Because it wasn't there at the no, no, no. beginning of the day. So we have okay. three, six, eight heroes left to play. And LFY could pick some of them. Maybe they thought Omni had it been. Maybe they did. They tried to do it. They're trying to do it for the compendium up. stats. I messed up. They're not picking Tiny or Wraith King or anything like that. They could pick a Baden if they want to be some real bros. Just to help out? Yeah, for the push. For the parody. Oh, that's a CK. That's their counter to Dro. That literally destroys Dro. You this know that too. You're a, you're, a, you're a carry player. Yeah, I like playing CK. CK's great. Do you? Do you have the Golden Shield? I do have the Golden Shield, yeah. Oh, it looks fancy. You got the Golden Shield. doesn't quite fit in with the rest of the, the cosmetics, but... Yeah, but you we get the like golden to wear portal. The bling. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, CK, that's a lot of fun. I was at CK now, right? With the the rift that applies the armor reduction, didn't it? I, because I, I think I used to prefer when the because it used to be the crit did, didn't it? If you landed the crit, that would reduce the armor. Hmm. So that would be better for farming. And then when I build my battle fury, I'd rather have the <laughs> armor reduction on the crit. Your battle fury? Yeah. You're you're the only person knowing that's gonna build a battle fury on CK. Battle fury blink. You know you're essentially a more badass anti mage on a horse. You're turning yourself into a worse version of another hero. No, does anti mage have an ult that makes is... like three images of him that do a hundred percent? Oh, there we go. That's a new hero. That's a new oh. hero. That's a new. I hero. told you, dude. LFI didn't LFI, know that Omni was. They thought they were helping out the cause. They didn't know that Omni was. <laughs> I I could feel it because I was like, why would they just take Omni here? It doesn't quite make sense. That's a new one. They're doing it to be friends. Look at this. LFY are winning fans all over the world. DC are pick Marana. They're losing fans all over the world. LF look, he's, look at his cosmetic game on the Pudge. It's pretty strong. His cosmetic it's game. Got, what's the, he's got like a Nerf gun or something. What the hell is that? Cleaver. <laughs> Nerf gun. There's some kind of plasma, you know, nuclear green gungy gun. I will send him some cosmetics. What the put? No, dude, the push looks amazing. Doesn't have the golden arm though, or maybe dude, that's a that's a mid it. omni, off lane pugna. Shout out to Lampercat. 
All right. He's the one who invented that. Uh, What's his name? That offlane pug now. Lampa. Lamper cat. Lamper cat. Lamp, er, cat. Why would you lamp a cat? That's Man, we've. It's pretty he must be so cat. happy if he's watching the stream. We've just said his name like eight times. Are you sure he's not in flame? He is not in flame. You don't think he mysteriously disappears he is, to play with LFY? I am pretty sure he is a small white guy. Okay. And like Pugna. Like Pugna. Yeah. He is the Pugna. I mean, Pugna, you know, he's, he's like us all after we have a rough night out and we wake up. Mm -hmm. Have you ever felt like a Pugna? I've never felt like Woken a Pugna. Woken up, let out a few nether blasts. <laughs> You're crazy, Owen. Why are you singing? Because I'm happy. What, that there's a pudge? Or? Yeah, yeah, that's one step closer to the edge. Dude, the Pugna-Pudge combination. Decrep, you don't miss that hook. It's impossible. That is not the word that I would use for that, Owen. It's amazing. So now we've got three, six, seven heroes to go. We're about to find out, by the way, which is the worst hero in Dota. <laughs> Dude, the Pugna strats are amazing. You know, Pugna... Tell with, me, Owen. With the, with the Pudge... Tell me, Owen. You can easily deny yourself Tell by me, Owen. increasing the rot damage by decrepping the pudge <laughs> that he does to himself. Owen, I can't handle you. You're... Dude, I'm, see, I, I, when you start to see the decrep denies, it's going to be legit. Owen, I can't handle you. Because what the DC have there? The drow strat. They're Do you think it also it. increases the magic damage? Yeah, no, it can't. 25% extra, isn't it? No, but it doesn't deal more damage. That's what I'm saying. I'm messing with you. What? <laughs> well, when he when he decrypts him, he's gonna be hurting himself more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That what? is not good. But they have Omni plus Pudge, which is insane. I mean, that's, that's good. There yeah. you go. So you decrypt no you decrypt the Pugna, you repel the Pugna. There's a lot of range heroes still he on the side of DC. And then he looks really flashy. Man, this is the best. You you can tell that uh, LFI they're like whatever, they're chill. Why why can't you tell that whatever? Cause well, well, because it's whatever. They just pick Pudge Omni, man. They're not. This isn't their do or die game. For DC, there's a lot of respect on the line to win. You don't want to lose to a Pudge Pugna strat. That would suck. Now, what kind of lanes are we getting from LFY then? So, as you say, this is a... Uh... Well, looks a bit. Pugna going to be on the solo safe. Oh, Bulba. Is Bulba dead? He's he's dead, I think. He's already used his Borrow Strike. There's the Chaos Bolt into the Shackle. That is going to be your first blood, ladies and gentlemen. Going to Monet, the man on the pony. That's strength. But he's got no head. Oh, yeah, he does. <laughs> it looks like he has no... His head is tiny! Look how tiny that guy's head is! That is incredible. That is actually really small. That is... A, it doesn't look like he has it from certain angles. No, you're... you're I thought you were messing... Even in the... Even in this view? Like, where's his head? Yeah. Oh, and this is not the best cast that I've they, they, They've lost the courier as well, Blitz. <laughs> LFY are courier feeding. What's going on in this game? They are that confident. They lost their courier last game too, and it didn't seem to matter. Yes. It didn't slow them an iota. It's part of the strat. When you feed the courier, the game actually gives your team uh, additional benefit by an increased GPM. Yeah, is that what happens? Yeah. That's what they tell me in my pubs. When he sends five of them down mid. LFY top lane. I mean, this is pretty terrifying for Ev. He's going to have a lot of trouble getting the farm here. This is aggro tri lane from LFY. Looking to be nice. Super on the mid lane. Omni. I mean, this is just an absolute delight for LFY fans around the world. I love it. All five of them. Is that including the team? Yes. Oh. That was the joke. Come on, Will. That's that's really mean. It's not. It's it's more like a, everyone's going to bandwagon on LFY, but come on, guys. Dude, these guys Who are saw this They guy? picked Pudge. You, if you're not an OG fan, like a, not an OG fan, but like, you weren't originally their fan. You don't get to jump on the ha the bandwagon. It's like being a Warriors fan, Owen. Or what's the what's the what's the English football equivalent? I don't, I don't do football. Will. Probably like Man United or Arsenal. Yeah, you don't get One to do that. Guys. You don't get to do that. Look at this mid lane. That's super. Twelve for one against the nine for two of our bed. You raise your ten k. That's raises crazy. His Omni. He's doing so well with these weird melee heroes. There's a draw or a two on the side of that pudge. Dude, there's level two on this pudge. He's going to hook for Rev in. Rev's still level one. He's only got an arrow. He's going to die. LFY. What? Oh. oh, he tried to go for the value creep, but there wasn't even a neutral there. There was no value from that arrow. LFY. Dude, oh, and I don't know awesome. how this is happening. But it is. I... I'm calling it now. This is better than the All-Star match this year. Pack it up, boys. They've Go got on. some crazy stuff happening, and somehow it's all... It's... 
there's an offlane drow because of this, and this safe lane Pugna is gonna win. Did you watch these six CSs from from Inflame? See this range creep? Look, Mason thinks he's gonna get it, and he does. <laughs> Mason moving in. Look who's here though, Arfu. Mason, he's gonna get hooked. Come on, that, that's you can get him ready. This is gonna be perfect. There's the decrep hook. There's oh, the no. I told you about it. Can't miss a hook. Absolutely impossible. Someone call the VAC police. This is it's literally hacks. That's how good that combo is. I honestly hate that that worked. What? Because it proved your point. And that makes me so sad. People are gonna start spam picking Pugna Pudge in all of your all of your games now, and it's it's gonna win them. Oh, easy, easy hooks. This top lane though, not really being punished. And not a lot of punishing to do. That off lane drill, been punished. What are you supposed to do? You go back bottom again, but Pudge kills you every time. Look at this, Alpha's ready for round two. He wants it. They kill him so fast, there's no way that he can survive. It's only a silencer to help him out. Now the silencer's left him, Doobie says, good luck on your own, mate. I'm not sticking around down here. I mean, does Doobie really want to be down here? He does. He's just going to grab a bounty ring. But oh, Mason. Look at this. DC are manning up. They will get the kill on DDC. That's good. For Rev, could be in trouble. He does ah, have a Chaos fine. Bolt. It, it, he, oh, he nearly went for it there. Couldn't quite get it as Rev was out of range. So DC do get themselves on the scoreboard with the kill. A region pinged out for this puck. It's a very good rune right now for Abed, considering he has no mana left. Mo oh, the GG play! But Monet was prepared with the Quelling Blade. The Jukes are, it's going to work out for F. Does he live? Oh, no, oh, the crit comes in. What? That was crazy. I can't believe he got the crit. If he didn't get that crit, he would not have got that Imagine kill. if he salves right there, too. <laughs> I would have called him the best player in the world. What's the percentage of that crit? It's not great, is it? It's only yeah, 12%. 12%. And he gets it, though. He does get it. And he got the life stealer either. for it, too. That's what allowed him to live. <laughs> That's what made Bulba not get the kill. That's like the ultimate disrespect. Money back up top. Arfu. Hey, look, Arfu. He's ready to set up for some fun. They will get the silence onto him. There's the decrep setting up for the hook. In fact, oh, he's, he's got to be a bit careful with the curse on him, Arfu. Can't Owen. Go for it. They didn't do it. They didn't do the combo. The that overpowered time. combination. Mid lane. Look at this. I mean, have you ever seen a mid lane Omni beat a 10k puck? No. I can't honestly say that I have. What, what's happening here? Oh. Abed's going for it. He's I got. Mean, he's got Bulba. Yeah, they're gonna kill him. Super is definitely dead there. With the connection from the Burrow Strike. DC do get never, the kill. Never, never forget that Bulba's always around. He's back. Bigger than ever. Sankingier than ever. How many games has he played on Sanking this tournament? It feels like a lot. A lot. A lot. Many games. And Forever Top has had an absolutely miserable time. He's level four. But the game is still very close as a result of. Shenanigans. So if DC get anything out of this rotation, they've got Bulba and Dubu heading up top. DDC is already out of there. Look at this Omni Knight. No fear. Just right clicks him four times. Top lane then they make it this kill. Shackle onto Bulba, trying to hold back the damage. Monet, can he survive this? He'll get the stun out. Look who's here. Pugna's in town, but Mason's there with the counterplay. Throws out the gust, bringing DDC very far down low to Crep into the blast. Trying to man up, but he's now out of mana. Does have the Arcane Boots off cooldown. Got one more blast to play with, but DC, the backup. I'm gonna feed anything here. That's four heroes up here, though. Free farm for Super. Mono straight down to bottom. And then we got taken down, making. This is the correct play for him to go bottom like this, because it's hard for them to rotate around the map. Like, Forever's gonna make his way down there, but he uses TP already, so he, the best he can do is leap. This top wave, Mason probably shouldn't feel very safe at all. Like, they can't protect him against a lot of these heroes, because like you said, like, I, I don't want to say it, but the Decrep Pugna hook does kill him every time. It's pretty scary. He's nearly level 6 as well on the Pugna. I mean, like, super, I mean, what's, what's the build going to be on this Omni? Do you just expect sort of phase boots, S and Y? I'd like to see something cool. Go for, like, an Atos. I would be a fan of that. If Super goes for an Atos, I'll be his biggest fan. Will he do it? No, nah, there's no way. Mid lane, Arthur and Monet coming in. They want to make something happen. Oh, that was really optimistic. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a port there. Didn't have the decrep. I don't think that was what. 
I'm not sure that was the defining characteristic of why they failed though. And I think uh, it comes down to the, probably the ward and the fact that it's a puck. Oh, look who did have the decrep though. Top lane, in flame, and DDC moving on to Mason. Well, and that's huge. That's the kill still. I don't think he expected uh, the two of them to be able to get that kill, but you've got to be careful. That Pugna is so strong. Does he want to play around it? He does. Brings forever in. There's the start on Nuke in return. Bilba there with the rotation going in very deep with the Burrow Strike. Can they bring Monet down? He's ticking down low, but he gets behind the tree line. The curse, not enough to bring him down. He'll survive. Super there, I believe. Body blocked the arrow there with the Invis rune. Now, Dream Coil. Can they actually get in to do anything about this? Dubu does have the curse up again in a couple of seconds. Two points in it. LFY relatively low. These, uh, these will be a lot of big kills if they can find it. DC are going to want to move in on this. Monet on the sidelines, jumped in by Bulba to get the kill. Oh, there's Super no mana. getting new down low as well. He's gone. LFY starting to feed down in this bottom lane. Oh, the Shadow Shaman is 100% dead too. They are getting and Afu. more and more out of this. DDC down. Afu as well to be gone. And Dubu getting the intel in the bank. Yeah, they're going to lose that top tower for it. But Mason, his aura, level 6, proving to be enough for his team to fight that. As they come in one by one, super heavily overestimated his strength. This guy had no mana at all, Owen, but he still kind of just sat there. Yeah, that was that was the dream for DC, getting this tower as well. Looks like we're not going to see anything too funky from Super. It's just going to be the phase drums this game. Yeah, they got four range heroes on their team. They're going to take towers fast. But at the same time, this Pugna, he's pugnacious. Pugnacious. He's gonna hit this top tower too. Nah, he's scared. Oh, they're trying to sandwich him. Frev has the arrow available. Instead, gonna double star fall him. He is might be able to get this. In a roll. Ah, foo! In fact, they want to turn Monet. I don't know if he does want to turn. No, Bob was there with the sandstorm burrow strike. Yeah, Monet wants to stick around. Pops the mango, ready to move forward. There's the dust onto Boba. Ah, Can he get the hook? Just only off cooldown. He's looking for a target. Dubu with the sidestep. Will survive. DC stepping things up. LFY do still have this group up and go as they come towards the mid lane. Ready to push in. The blast starting to come out. We'll see if DC can do anything to stop this. Bulba finds an invis. Isn't going to take it himself. Leaves it for Arbed's bottle. He's so far so good right now for DC. They're not losing heroes. This, uh... This Pugna Pudge combo that you were so hyped about, Owen. It's it's, it's slowed down. I mean, Afu slowed down. It barely did anything to begin with. He's got three assists. He's level four. His assist came from the very beginning of the game. Just waiting for that opportune moment. All about the patience as a Pudge. Can't get ahead of yourself. Well, feeding the ward. Tasty plus 40. Top lane. Space for Monet. Working towards that armlet. Certainly does feel like he needs it before he comes to the fight again. As he yeah. is. He, he was he really melted. Yeah. Every time he decided to five man with the team, he just fell behind in farm and levels. Everyone's getting really farm. Like, Bulba's a level san 7 Sand King that almost has a Blink Dagger. Dude, look That's at this guy. That's pretty crazy. He's almost got his... I... Crap hook nearly doing it there, but the leap is too strong. The leap counter two abilities. That's our OP spell. They'll take it out next patch. True, true. Alright, Bulba's level 8 with the Blink Dagger almost at 11 minutes. He's getting some split push on as well. Tier 2. Getting absolutely trashed. Slowly. By the Sand King. Arfu's there. Can Arfu outplay Bulba? The answer, of course, is no. So he doesn't even try. Stick around for the creeps. This Pudge is level 6 now, but... Monet getting Dubu on his own was out there desperately trying to find the six on the silence which they still don't have and at the same time down bottom Bulba works his magic so quick that even you guys at home didn't see it it was impossible to view impossible too extreme for camera they're gonna take the sub tower though decent trade tier 2 for tier 2 this draw doesn't have a lot of space. I did have to commit the wards for it though, so. Ah, uh, you have to use them at some point. Ah, oh, yeah. True. It's just oh, six. Once this Pugna is so farmed. 
He really is. Top of the net worth. That level is eight. incredible. Soaring Ether Lens. 1k gold as well. Wonder what kind of build it'll go. We saw um, well, Samel played it earlier. It didn't actually build the Agonims until. I don't even know. I remember watching the game 40 minutes in and he, he hadn't had the Agonims. He went for. I think it was like what? Veil, Ether Lens, Blink? Yeah, that's pretty common. Yeah. What, well, well, not getting the axe? We'll see what Inflame does this game. For Rev, after those drums, looking for the, the diffuser. Are you a fan of this, Will? Not not upgrading your brown boots? It's okay. Like, I, I, I hear people always having strong opinions on it. You know, some people say, like, well, if you're not upgrading your boots, you're, you're an umpty. And I, then other people are like, an well, umpty? an umpty. What's a numpty? Just like if you're being a bit of an umpty, someone that's you know just been a bit silly. I see. Uh, as that isn't really a term in my vocab, but okay. it's okay. It's not the worst, but they're oh! bulbs. Bulb. I don't think I've ever seen a burrow strike that small. That was like a a burrow scrape the edge of the scrape the surface of the floor. They will get him. It commits the global for it though. And that's all they get, the Omni. Well, there's a mid lane Omni. Maybe they get the Arfu Pudge as well. Arfu in the tree line does bring Bulba into him. Looking for the deny, not going to get it. Forev gets the double kill. Now they're looking for more. The damage of the Drow lineup rips through DDC. And they're not quite done. Monet looking to juke out the damage there with the ultimate turns towards Bulba. Crits him down. But Monet, can he arm the tug of his way out of this one? He cannot. He's down as well. Triple kill for Forev. And Forev showing us that you do not upgrade your boots, boys and girls, as the brown boots Ooh. come into play. That decrep into the into the waning rift. Okay, it worked out. Bulba debated them. He did. He Bulba said, "This is the level them. my team plays at." And then his team said, "No, it's not, boys." <laughs> Mason, he's gonna get back to safety easily. Easiest TP of his life. Calculated it down to the fraction of a second. Mason, the mathematician. Holy crap! Bulba debated them. He misses that stun, so they're like, guys. Fight, come to me. Super just dies by himself. They pop the global. And Brilliant. instead of running away, LFI come in one by one, Owen. Yeah, and they, they just feed, 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 feed. DC, now with the 1k Gosh, gold lead. This is what Look Bulba at is this playing. mid lane, Bulba's not messing around this time. Epicenter Borrow Strike. Super, Look to the hospital. At the sequence of events, Owen, that has transpired due to this misdone. I told you, Bulba's got the plan. Let them win a game, fatten up the street. Now you you end them. Yeah, if you win too early, if you win game one, then it's, it's just BM. Yeah, it's just it's honestly You've just. You've got to be polite. Sam, he's a very polite guy, Sam. You know yeah. what I mean? He's one of the best. Look at this guy, 15 to seven, top of the net worth now as well. Our bed has that veil blink as well now on the way. So blink veil, 15 minutes in, perfect timing for the putt. And Mason, he's starting up. He's nice. He's got the dragon lance, looking for the shadow blade next. Could LFY have memed their their way out of the street continuation? You don't want to go undefeated anyways. Because it, you, you want to remind yourself that you're mortal. You don't want to be too overconfident at a TI. You know, there's a, there's a good medium ground that you're going to hit. That's for I'm doing after that triple. For some reason, this Omni isn't grabbing his talent at 10. Which I feel like is a mistake. Especially if he goes 60 GPM. If he goes 60 GPM on, nah, he just lost like. Dude, 180. Should we get the XP gain if you're playing Coral? 180 gold, Owen. 60 GPM is like, it's you know just. It's double the GPM that you get passive. True, it's, it's double the normal passive. Yes, you would get 120 passive GPM. Oh, here we go. Here we They're go. They're smoked up. They've got the tier one tower alive. Smoke on smoke. Who's going to get the jump? Arfu gets his dispel. Bulba with the jump in. Looking to go immediately with the power oh, strike. Global. global comes in. There's the pounce forward. Forever gets the kill. Now they look to get Monet as well. Drop the Dream Call. Silenced as well. No chance for the ultimate to come through. Dream Call snap connects. Monet does get the ult out. Hugh by the power strike. But there's power strike from Bulba. Comes in with two. Super pops the GA. But it may be a little too late. They've already lost the Chaos Knight. Super's trying to run down Bulba. The EDC looking for the lockdown. Onto Forever. But they lose Super. It's a die back there. Beautiful hook. From Arfu, but it's not good enough. 4F still with the leap out. Should be able to just survive. Oh, they're and killing LFY everybody out here. Getting crumbled. And oh, Arfu gets arrowed right between the butt cheeks, and he's down as well. Can't even get the deny. 21 to 8. Digital chaos. Now, LFY 
brought this strap to the fray that they've been hiding up until this point. This amazing next level draft that no one would have expected. And Digital Chaos, somehow, they have the answers. At every turn. First, they bait that miss stun into what feels like 15 kills in a row. I think co coaches and analysts from all the teams here will be looking back at that point in this game and saying, that's what we need. We yes. need to have a Bulba moment in our games. Yeah. It worked the other day, down. too. Somebody missed like a huge ability, and somehow the enemy team got baited into thinking that was a fight. This is incredible. This game is getting really one-sided now. It's 5k lead at 18 minutes. DC... DC are playing well, though. Their team they fight are, is quite are, good. They are not messing around, DC. Oh. Mason's playing it really solid, just keeping himself back, farming up. No rush at all for them. I mean, if you're LFY, what do you really do here? You needed to just I mean, fight. You had a team fight lineup. You have no... You have one hero that pushes waves. That is true. But your high ground defense is going to be pretty spectacular. You're going to hook people. You're going to hook people. You're going to rift people. You're going to force people. Super is going to go for the repel TP. You will make it. Top lane. Oh, off he goes forever. Nearly has that defusal. He's really farmed. They're all really farmed. Bulb is barely behind him too. He's almost got a blink. Well, it looks like he wanted to go for a Yule. Oh, there we go though. Oh, the go is that going to save him that global? Surely not. Dubu with the global plays, saving a buddy in trouble. Oh, meanwhile in mid, we they made the move forward, but didn't find anyone. Yeah, Dubu, oh, he is a real team player. I mean, that's the thing, you know, as you said, the focus was mid lane, but Dubu, he knows what's going on all over the map. All mm -hmm. over the map. Indeed, Owen. Indeed. Pick Dubu, silence a win game. I really, you know, DC, they're hot with the silencer picks. 2-1 and 13. Dubu, plus 24 in tout. Didn't they pick silencer sanking last game? Yeah, but that, it wasn't the same silencer. <laughs> it was different. It had different cosmetics on he had different cosmetics? Yeah. Did they have silence in the last game? I think they did, didn't they? Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. I'm, pretty sure I'm pretty sure they did. Yeah, they, they did. definitely did, because you were saying you were expecting like, the bat rider or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They picked it in the first two. And I think their other support was... Was, was the Sandman. Sang was Sanking again. Yeah, it was indeed. 21 to 8. DC. Putting LFY in their place. In flame. Is going to go for the Ags this time around. In fact, he, he's got it, bro. He's got the complete one. He does. That's the Ags done on Inflames Pugna. BKB nearly finished for Monet. It's only going to make uh, quite a bit of difference. Doesn't have to worry about these silences stopping him from getting the ult off at key moments. DC, they are going to use the Moonlight Shadow to try and close in on the mid lane. See if Bulbs can get the jump. He's going to spot out DDC. That's the easy one. They'll take it. They'll take it politely. No need to be BM here. Easy kill, easy intel. Dubu continues to have this cranium expansion. Oh, that's a good one. I like that. Yeah. They're going to go for Roche next. That's they have so many range heroes. And LFY can't stop this. I mean, maybe they... No, they, they, they do not have a team to fight around the pit, especially being a man down. What if you threw the hook from the, uh, the stone golem area? Oh, well, you, you should be able to hook the Aegis, I think. What? Why not? What do you mean, why not? That would... It'd be, uh, it wouldn't be broken. It'd be balanced. Look in the Aegis. Why would that be a At mechanic least... in the game? I don't know. Why a lot of things mechanics in the that game? That means you would be able to do things like force staff Aegis. No, 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 no. You could, so the only thing that, they, that changes is that Pudge can... What? Don't worry, Will. Oh, and I you'll, can't... you'll see it in the next patch. I'm I kind of you know you're memeing, but I, I can't. Ice Frog's watching. The problem is, I can't tell if you're serious or not. It's so confusing. If you could hook the Aegis, the game would be a more balanced place. They'll realize that one day. In uh, 9.42. 9.42. Coming out. When Owen is balancing the game. <laughs> 
when everyone's moved on. It's not gonna happen for a long time. Oh, there's the hook and the money. Oh, he's got BKB. In. He has. He BKBs the hell up in this place. That guy leaped in. He doesn't have leap available. They're gonna have to, DC's gonna have to fight their way out. But can they do it? GA comes out. 4F in trouble. 4F is down. Jump forward from Bobble with the epicenter. Melts. The mystical man with the big old beard as Omni Knight falls to the ground. Decreps there just in time. Dream Coil onto Inflame. Can he suck his way out of this? No, he cannot. Bulba comes in with the caustic, takes down a third. DC take the fight despite the BKB and the GA usage. And FY just can't deal with this. Yeah. They didn't have their Shadow Shaman either. DGC said, nope, not going to be there. Screw that noise. Doesn't show up to the fight at all. And I think if it weren't for the Aegis, LFY might have won that fight 4v5. I mean, yeah, they, yeah, no, yeah, because they could have turned their attentions elsewhere and deep well them to kill for the second time. Yeah, it it certainly was one of the better fights they've taken since they've been on the back foot. Oh, for point. sure. And Forev uh, had a lot of gold on him. He Still. did, yes. He, did he not invest it yet? No, he didn't. You're right. Once there's a BKB on this pugna, that fight uh, progressively gets a lot easier. I mean. Well, what have they got? They're still with the global to go for it, but I don't know, he's got an axe, so it doesn't really matter if he gets silenced. You can do it. it well, no, sorry, that, it, it does matter if he gets silenced, because he can't recast it, but... Well, Mason. Super. Doing a, doing a bit of a sidestep there. Skipping around on the bottom lane. Boba looking to pick up a gem for the team. Dude, we'll go full staff next. Arbed, getting the bots. Monet. Well, going back for the Echo Saber, I mean, not a not a bad item, of course, on the on the Chaos Knight. Just uh, a little later. All right, so this Pugna, wait for BKB, nothing else. Yeah, that's all you do. You wait for the BKB. That's all. Just, I mean, the the real question is if DC can break the base. Of LFY. They, they've obviously got a great lineup to do it with this Drow Strat. They've got a lot of sieging potential, but as we've been saying, LFY do have ways to try and pull apart the team when they start to head towards their high ground. So, my question that I asked you mm. is at what point do you think LFY just says screw it, decides to non stop five man? Now. That moment is over. <laughs> the arrow instantly ended it. Wait, why didn't Afu hook? I mean, I guess... Yeah, he didn't know. He was quite in the position. Bulba's still in the neighborhood. Bulba might go for the 1v5 here. They pretty much have to fight man like this because they have no way to clear out the lanes. They have no they have no range push out aside from Pugna. And Pugna kind of has to be pretty close to it. DC is what... I I mean, I guess DC, they're not seemingly pushing the issue too hard. You know, a lot of the times they're taking the fights is when LFY are actually the ones searching for them. But DC are yet to, to take this tier 2 mid. Aren't interested in pushing. I mean, I guess, I guess waiting for the next Aegis is the safest move for DC. Yeah. But it is, it, this is giving time for Monet. And, you know, this Chaos Knight, if he, if he is able to scale up, DC's lineup does fall off in comparison. But the thing is... DC have several ways to shove in the waves, and they can do it really safely. Yeah. They have this puck, very hard for them to kill. It's almost impossible for LFY to kill this puck, by the way, until... Like, look at this. Anytime anybody tries to shove out a lane, the only person that can really do so is the Pugna. So when the Pugna goes to do it, what do you really do? I don't know. It's, yeah, LFY really with their backs against the wall for... Definitely, it seems to be the first time here in the TI7 group stages. They did win enough games, as we've said, to guarantee that top spot. I mean, obviously with the draft, they, it is clear that they're trying something different, but in terms of the play, I mean, it's, it's does it feel like they're messing around too well in comparison, or are mm. they still playing to win? I think they're still... Somebody, somebody once described it to me the best here. You play to win, you don't necessarily have to pick to win. In Dota, you almost always play to win. Because yes. what else are you going to do, right? Even games you're playing with your friends and you're just clowning around and you draft weird stuff, you're not going to tell me you're not playing to win. No, of course not. You're probably going to lose horribly because you've got some weird stuff going on, but... Like, they're building all the right items. Yes, there's there's nothing to... The CK is getting a BKB. 
the Pugna's getting a BKB, this Omni's getting a Lotus Orb to break the Global Silence. Like, yeah. they're not, yeah, they're true. not clowning in that regard. They're Pug just, they're better heroes on DC side right now. You could just say this is a simple outdraft, and I mean, LFI's still playing very normally. Yeah. And so that's potential to turn around these fights, but DC smoked up, ready with the movement, straight over to LFY. That ward, though, I believe, yeah, that I'm pretty sure they definitely spotted it out. They, they did smoke right here, didn't they? So, yeah, LFY know they'll back up, get themselves back to safety, position themselves somewhere where they're not going to be caught out by this movement from DC. They've just about got all their items, too. The Lotus Orb is complete, mm -hmm. so is the Echo Saber. There's almost a BKB on this Pugna. Yeah, he's just, yeah, just 1100 until he's got that done. Mason himself with his own BKB complete. Dude was still with a very impressive amount of intelligence stolen. And Arbed rocking that top spot on the network graph and well on the way to having the money to invest in that Dagon. And then why definitely waiting for DC to come to them. There's no doubt about that. As I say that, they're probably going to smoke and look for them. There we go. Curiously, they didn't decide to wait for the BKB, by the way, on the Pugna. They think the... They didn't, no. The Lotus Orb and the Echo Saber, which are the two big pickups well, that, for them. Oh, DDC! He weren't quite quick enough! They should take a fight now, though. There's no global. That is true. I mean, we'll see if they, they can force it as uh, Inflame does go to the mid lane, he's, he's just going to TP straight back top and clear that out. They will check Roshan just to see if it's up, but not quite going to be there. And we'll see if it's going to be the shorter or the longer spawn time soon. Dubu's still on this top lane, but uh, we'll simply just go for the TP out. He's pinged out in the sidelines, but Afu's not going to quite be there soon enough to have a chance with the hook. He'll go for it anyway, but of course Dubu already out of there, back to safety. Still 26-9, 8k gold lead. For DC, a lot of money being built up on Ferev, close to having his own BKB done if he wishes to invest in it. Arbed nearly with the... well no, he's got the funds to, to start getting that Dagon going. So I mean, despite DC's lead, do, as I said, is, is it much of a worry that the game slowed down for this Drow lineup, or are they still super comfortable? I think they're incredibly comfortable. Because yeah. they there's still no real way for Arbed to die. He's got a Lincoln Sphere, what's going to kill him? Oh, that's true. He should always get his face shift off. And he should always get his blink off thereafter. They have stuns, but they're all projectile based or they're slow. And the ones that aren't, he can just, you know, if, for example, uh, the Shadow Shaman shows up on the map, all he does is phase instantly. And he'll always get the phase off. Even if the Shadow Shaman breaks his Lincolns, then he just blinks out. Yeah, that's what my bad. Yeah, that's, of course, what would have happened when that, dude, that Shaman jump was there on that high ground. Abed can only die if he really messes up. Uh, right now, seven zero thirteen. It's not looking like it. No, sir. And once he gets his level 25 talent, too. Yeah, all of this is being spotted out by DC. They know exactly what LFY is up to now. Look at the D ward. Roshan to be back up in roughly 40 seconds. We'll see if LFI want to try and take it. It, it is hard, though. It's going to be incredibly risky if they do try to do so. And they'll head over towards the pit that's going to be scanned out. So now DC aware of precisely what's going on despite the dewarding. Well, we're continuing to push in the top lane straight out as well. Very nicely done. And we can see DC just constantly keeping both of these side, side lanes shoved right in against they can. FY. They've got a, they have a Sand King with a Blink Yules. They've got a Puck with Blink Lincolns. We talked about how Sand King, I, I've talked about in the past how like Sand King is probably the best support aside from Coddle at just pushing in waves. Because you do it so quickly with Caustic, right? Nothing really stops you. And you've got two different escape mechanisms, if not three. And LFI, we talked about how bad their catch is. Like they, they just don't have fast enough stuns. The only way they do it is if DDC gets somebody. Mid lane. Bulba jumping in, looking to get things started. The Hex does come out before the Globals, so there's oh, going to be no MP, good. and now there's the turnaround. Now, I've been talking up Dubu's Globals, but a little a little too slow there, as there was still that opening for that Hex to come through. Now Arbed still jumping in on this. Has to be a little careful, in case the catch would have been there, but as 
you mentioned, obviously with that Lincoln still feeling relatively safe. They can look towards Roche, and it is back up. There's no sanking for 30 seconds. Oh, no way they get this. Just keeping the side of DC back with these illusions. This would be so... This would make the game so weird if LFY managed to get this. Do they, I mean, they've got the Repel on Monet. They do still have GA. They're in a pretty good position to fight. The only thing they're really lacking is the ultimate from the CK. The Aristone's only going to help them out. There's no global either. No epicenter, even if Bulba is alive. Oh, they're actually going to get this. They're a little scared. Hook's going to be off the point. They don't get a connection. And Monet back in the pit. It's falling low. The Serpent was doing work. Now looking to go. BKB comes out from Inflate. There's the GA as well. Arthur moving forward. He's got the controls for it, but first BKB's already out of there. Now DC moving forward with the drought damage. Arfu hooks the air. Is it going to do anything for the side as the gust flies in? Two more down. They'll lose in flame as well as he tries to survive, using himself up. He's gone. Double kill for Mason. Roshan is now there, fresh for the taking for DC to just walk in, claim the cheese, get the Aegis. And it did not work out for LFY one bit. Yeah, it felt like they were trying to do a little bit too much. LFY, they wanted to take the fight, they wanted to try to Rosh, they were hemming and hawing both ways. But taking the fight against this team, I mean, you notice what happens. The right-click damage on the draw is too much, even for the Pugna with the BKB. They pop the Omni Guardian Angel, but as soon as that's gone, their team doesn't very kite really well. Oh, but look who he's found, Arfu. Set up upon. DC, I mean, we told you, you know, the position they are, these wins mean everything, and DC taking down LFY. It's looking like it's going to happen. For DC, this would be a huge win. I told you it would. Yeah, Bobo was building up that win streak so he could double down on this game. So he can say, I beat LFY, and they won a 13-game win streak. <laughs> Sounds much more impressive than 12. Yeah, know? anybody could win a 12-game win streak. 12-game win streak happens all the time. Nobody, nobody 13. takes 13 wins in a row against Bulba. He's a mathematician. Knows 13 is greater than 12. As does, hopefully, everybody. Depends if you're counting backwards, Will. But then 13 isn't still great. This <laughs> is still great than 12. Boy. Please. Work with me here. I'm trying. LFY. What's the plan? Moonlight from DC. Seeing they can get into position to go. LFY keeping themselves up in the high ground. Level 19 on money. Is the 20 any good on CK? That was pretty nice. 12 to all stats I or 120? I think take the twice. Did you take the 120 GPM? Nah, man. You take the stats. What? You take the 120 GPM? Yeah. You, you're you not getting any farm at all. Yeah, but you don't need farm if you can just get farm from stats. Plus 12 stats. That's not bad. You're not getting farm from stats. You need, you need farm. Farm is gold. Plus 12 stats. Oh, and it's like, would you rather have an ulti orb or would you rather have a Midas? Wait, ulti orb's only plus 10, Will. Don't, yeah, don't, it's like don't slightly better. try and cheat me out here. It's mm. plus 12. That's ulti orb and two GG branches. Oh! He lands it. Wild Wing Ripper getting ripped apart. Oh, by the Ripper. DDC dies so incredibly fast and. Abed's going to keep going for more. He's got his ulti up and his Dagon. Doesn't Same time. To go. Ooh, trying to go here. Monet jukes out the arrow. They're trying to fight. Jump for BKB's come out, but there's the global. Look Can't at this get damage. off the all out in time. Monet, what's he going to do? He doesn't know where to go. Forever BKB is going to wear off. They've got the control, but Abed's in there with the Dream Call. Cancels the dismember. They're focusing Monet. Monet cannot escape out of this. He's down. They will hook Forever, but Bulba jumps forward. Super's gone as well. LFY, they've lost four. They're going to lose Arfu as well. GG is called and Digital Chaos end LFY's reign here in the group stages and are the ones to defeat them. We all believed in Bulba and the gang. I said you would, we both said he would we do it. We both said he would do it. We if said it would, was to do maybe it. not game one, but game two. Wow. Just LFY. Huge I, upset. It, you know, these guys, you would think they'd be feeling happy after having that many wins, but now they've lost, it's, it's over. It's over. This but is where things start to go downhill for LFY. You get to Digital reset. Digital Chaos will rise to the top. DC. They're going to be feeling pretty hyped. Do you think, or are they not feeling pretty hyped? Are they like, well, this was a bit of a freebie? I don't know if they're, no team, it's still LFI. Like, it's if, still you LFI. And I, if you and I it's played still them, we still LFI. lose. You don't care if they're picking Pudge mid-Omni Knight. You won the game. You're you going to be game. feeling good. 
you got to be happy about it. 10 0 18 Arbed having a solid performance. I mean, the whole gang. The, you know, the, the whole gang went crazy. The Drow strats pulling through. Dubo and his silencer, very impressive. Stole a lot of intel. And at least LFY, you know, they tested something out. And they did clear off another hero on they the did. list of heroes that we were yet to see. Dun, so dun, dun. Shout out for them on that. A few more to go. A few more to go, indeed. Well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Digital Chaos taking LFY down. That is it for myself and Blitz. Don't go anywhere. You'll be enjoying the tones of Shiva and Fog next on the stream, I believe. Not quite sure what the game is, but it's probably not going to be as good as some Digital Chaos LFY action, so we apologize for that. Oh, and you're a legend. Well, what did you do? No, I'm just saying in general. It was great. Yeah? You have a good time? Yeah. Yeah, it's chill. This is it for me, guys. Bye. And bye. Have a lovely time here. See you, ladies and gentlemen, around. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Or the morning. Or the day. Or the night.